Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series, or at least in the continuation of the Football Manager journey, and this time we're going abroad. We are going to Dortmund, yes. Been said, said uh, keep using the hashtag, I want to be like Jurgen Klopp. Well, I certainly do want to be like Jurgen Klopp, because I'm going to take over his club. Um, and yeah, thought for the first time, uh, well, in a long while, we're actually going to go to a team in, not Engl in England. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to do a non-English team, and the last uh, two teams I've done for that, uh, have gone very badly, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, the first one was, I think, Atletico Madrid, and I just stopped after, like, six episodes because I just didn't know any of the players. Obviously, I know it now. That was, that was like, a year ago. My football knowledge has improved since then. Um, but that one just didn't work. I think I might even... Was that one in the future? Oh, no, that was the Benfica one. That was the second one. The Benfica one in 2050, which was even worse because I literally just did not know any... I mean... I knew some of the players that the Atletico saved, but on the on the Benfica save, I literally had no clue because it was set in 2050. Therefore, it was all a bunch of regens who I had, well, I I had no idea who they were because you know it was dropped into a new world, so to speak. But in this one, I at least I'm aware of one or two players, you know, and I'm willing to, um, you know, well, at least at least um, bring some knowledge to the German to the German league. So Dortmund, why Dortmund? Well. I was considering, you know, the odd club, and I was looking at, you know, a few, but the first one that popped up instantly, pretty much, was, or at least insecure jobs, was Dortmund's. The Dortmund manager was a guy called Campolo, I think, and very early on, he was very insecure, and he sort of, he drifted away for a while, got a little bit better, and then went, ver went straight back to being very insecure, precarious, and I said twice that I wanted the job, and then he backed him, and you know, he fell away a bit again. Um... But eventually he caved in and they sacked him. And they were flattered by my interest and here we are today. So going to Dortmund. So as uh, as we do on these uh, games, we're going to be doing the first game live. I'm doing a full live commentary. I've uh, got rid of this backroom staff, which was a mistake as I'm going to be bringing in my own. Um, but obviously I I've got no assistant manager now for the, for the next game, which is stupid. Um, we're going to be taking on Stuttgart. Uh, and obviously I'm going to introduce you to the team. Uh, this is the current standings, though, of the league. Now, we do have a game in hand. Obviously, bear in mind, the German league plays 34 games, not 38. Um, so, if we win here, obviously, uh, we can go above Stuttgart and just be two points then behind Werder Bremen in fifth. Now, uh, they just they haven't really set any targets because we are now in the very end of January 2039. And, um, obviously, the, uh, you know, the, the season ends in May. So, therefore... They're not. They're just going to say, right, see out the end of this season, and then we'll give you proper tasks and targets at the start of next season as we approach the next decade. Um, and yeah, so I've got really nothing else on that. Let's show you the team. So it is a very small team. I've got rid of one or two players who are going to be uh, leaving very soon. Um, obviously, I'm still going to keep the odd one or two, but even if they aren't, you know, completely dedicated to the cause. But it's it's a very small team. Um, I think we are lacking in wingers. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing in some players. I would ask at this point to say, who do you think I should bring in? But mm, you don't really know. If you want to download this save, um, it link is in the description. It is an FMC save, I just want to point out. So just, just to let you know, there's, you don't have to do anything different, but just to point out, if your skin starts changing, don't freak out and panic. It, it's FMC, it's meant to. Uh, that's what I did. I, I just, you know, I've already talked about why I started FMC. It's because when I started this, I didn't have much time on my hands. FMC was perfect, but... Here we go. The team then. So we have two goalkeepers. Uh, obviously, one's currently need to arrest. Uh, but the main one at the moment for star he is, or at least he was, 31-year-old Portuguese. I'm going to call him. I'm not going to pronounce his first name, so I'm just going to call him Miguel Bastos. Good goalkeeper, apparently. We also have Kai Markowski, who has good potential, apparently. Obviously, there's no report here since I've just got rid of the assistant manager. So, obviously, I'm going to have to um, just pick the team myself. Right side, got it. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to pronounce every single one of these names, so I do apologise if I do appear um, ignorant or whatever. He is the new vice captain, or at least he is the vice captain, not new. He was already the vice captain when I was here. But uh, Gorecki or Gorecki um, from Poland. I'm not going to click on every player; it'll take forever. Obviously, I know you just want to get to the game, so but you, know, you can take in a few names there, have a read. But the one I just want to point out, uh, the last one, well, there's two more players I just want to show you. Remember this guy, Mariano Latini, long-time viewers. Uh, he was at Liverpool, wasn't he, for three seasons before uh, he was sold in the end to Dortmund by, uh, I guess that would have been Heitinger, possibly, or Sheriff. 
uh, to Dortmund for nine and a half million pounds. So uh, at least we're getting reacquainted with a one old player. And the last one here, the captain, the striker, the sort of um, I don't really want to call him Lewandowski or anything, but he is uh, particularly he is a very good player. He's twenty eight, twenty two and a half million pounds value. Captain Dortmund legend, I think. Horst Krumpen, which is a brilliant name. Uh, let me just see. Uh, this is the see the information. Yeah, he's a legend. Any other players I can click on? No. Um, they are currently in the Europa League, and they're going to be taking on Osasuna. Obviously, it's quite a lot of good team. Who the hell are they? Okay, that's just that was a name that just totally stood out. I, I recognise all these names, and then Capat Capat Capate. What? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're taking on Osasuna there. That will be later on. Um, think of this as well as a sort of January, uh, a February update as well, since we'll be doing a end of season review when we come to it. Um, yeah, you know, to the end of the season, and then it all, normal service will be resumed. But uh, the Imtech Arena, I think, is that not? Oh no, sorry, no, it's not. It's the it, it's Signal Iduna, Iduna, Iduna Park. I, I don't know how you say that. Sorry, I will learn. Trust me, I will learn. Uh, but enough chit chat, eh? Let's get to the game. So, um, obviously, I don't speak German or anything in real life and on the game. So I've got no assistant manager to pick. So I'm just going to have to use my common knowledge here and just or just general common sense. I'm just going to use the last five games in terms of form, and um, I'm going back to basics now. I talked about obviously on the not the last save but the pre the other Arsenal save, uh, going back a couple of videos that I changed the formation. Probably shouldn't have done that. I didn't mention it in the last video, but I probably shouldn't have done it. Probably was another decisive factor. I think they. I don't think. I think it was a combination of the the injuries and the change of formation didn't particularly help. Um, but obviously I realised this guy is going to be going. So in fact, no, I know okay he's in bad form, but I want to see what he can do. Uh, the Fabrice here. Um, so what I've done is I've gone back to basics, just gone back to the old wing abuse tactic as I call it, or the four-two-three-one formation, sort of similar to Brendan Rodgers' formation, a little bit of four-three-three. Um, well, actually, no, it's not. Well, it's a B. <laughs> you know, we've got two. Well, we've got two midfield. Well, no, actually, no, it's not at all. What am I talking about? It's, it's got. You know, so we've got the two holding midfielders, the three attacking midfielders, and then the one striker up front. Uh, if you're wondering, and if you if you want to download tactic, honestly, there's, you don't need to. You could make this yourself. There's literally no additions to it all i've done is it's man marking and let's see what are, what are the team instructions i've got stick to position and discipline freedom because we're german and we like to be efficient sorry you'll find me doing many faux pas shite german accents throughout this um, series so i do apologize if you are offended um so we're gonna have latini and oh okay ortiz is injured so we'll have to play then i guess vilchez Obviously, we'll get their rolls up in a second. Uh, let's see, you can play on the right. Okay, just, just Sufi. We're playing on the right with Shoba and Hongard, and then Crumpen up front. So let's find out what their best rolls are. So Latini, let's, let's see, what's his position? Damn it, no one's going to... Yeah, I've got an advice. Damn it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to guess. Oh, yeah, I'll have to guess then. Um, okay, we'll have an AP... These will be wingers. I'll have them in inside forward. I, I can't even tell you what Crumpen's best rule is. Fuck. Uh, let's say, hang on. The thing I can do is this. I can try that. Yeah, we'll have them as a. Okay, let's try them. What to advance forward? Hmm. You mean that? Uh, what about DLF? No, I'm going to say poacher. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him as a poacher. I will have that. Okay, so we're going up against Stuttgart, who are virtually level with us. Hopefully, we can get a good win. So, uh, okay, let's. Goalkeepers need a rest, but he shouldn't be needed. Hopefully, I think I might actually be able to fit the whole team in here. God, nearly. Uh, yeah, I'll have that then. Wow, so there's only well, one's ineligible. The other one's transferred already. Transferred. A range or has a transfer range, the one's injured. Wow, okay, that's a tiny, tiny squad that's gonna need to be built. I mean, I like them small, but not that small. That's what she said. Um, okay, let's go. We're gonna keep it at standard as well since we are away, so this could be a reasonably uh, tricky tie, but also, as uh, as always happens, you know, when a new manager comes in, the form goes out the window and everything goes a bit crazy. So, here we go. Um, I know a few people want me to do more live commentaries and stuff. Um, 
well, as I say, this is my normal save. This is what I play when I you know, just want to play Football Manager. So no, I can't. I'm not going to be doing too many of them, unfortunately. That's why the Celtic save exists. Um, and that will be coming back incidentally if you are wondering so um, obviously we've got the Champions League final tonight as well I use this one obviously it, it is by pure coincidence that I'm being dormant and happen to be uploading it on Champions League final day when they are in it and I was so tempted when they got through when they got through from the group stage especially that ridiculous group they were in with City and Madrid um, to put a bet on them getting or at least getting to the final oh what a save what a save that was from Bastos <laughs> superb uh, okay, I think we're... I don't know whether to go attacking or not. Uh, yeah, they are having a, a lot of the ball. I'll say we'll go to control. We'll just crank it up a bit to see what happens. Um, I was so tempted even just to put like a fiver on them or something, you know, just to see what happened. If they could maybe get to the Champions League final. Because you can do it each way. Each way bet. And, you know, if they, I mean, if, even if they got to a final, you would have won a bit of money. And um, they were like 16 to 1, I think, when they just left the group stages. And wow, we are fighting for our lives. Okay, we'll go to counter since clearly they're having way too much of the ball, and I'd rather not run a risk of just being flattened and going for it. it needs to be sensible, right? Um, well, a particularly uneventful first half. Um, no one's really stood out. Or, well, yeah, apart from the goalkeeper who's on seven point four, but I could have told you that. Um, Shoba does appear to be a little bit uh, down on his fitness or whatever, or. His, Actually, no, he's fine. His condition is just, I think he's just a little bit more tired than the rest. Um, obviously, we have not had a single shot on target. Now, whether obviously that's due to the fact they've only got one player up front. Why have I been attacking mid? Hmm. Okay, we'll level a teeny support. Let's try him now as an AF. As advanced forwards. Because, you know, I'm still experimenting. Obviously, I've got no system manager to advise me. So, um, I am going off. Well, nothing here since I don't know when it's not the players, so obviously this isn't going to be incredible. If we do get a, I'd be happy with a draw at this point. Oh my god, we can see why I got rid of why why they got rid of Latini with that. <laughs> now Latini's a good little player. I mean, you know, there's a reason why I brought him in. You know, he had good potential. Clearly, now being united with him, obviously that's. Oh no, you've given him way too much room, and that was inevitable. Well, we are going to have to go for it now. Okay, get the ball forward. Always knows when you're about to click something on a sub menu, doesn't it? Always knows. Yeah, plays half fast asleep. What are they doing? Just standing still. Poor in the end, just poor. Not gonna push higher up yet, we don't need to go crazy, but we should get the ball forward. It's pending. And don't smash it up like that. It's not gonna work. Right, let's see what Crumpen can do. You have a fair shot at least. Oh my goodness me, that is a brilliant goal from Crumpen there. Well, I can see why he's the captain, why he's a bit of a legend at Dortmund. That is some strike. He's done that all on his own. Look at that, he's got defenders all around him. Okay, they've given him a bit of room, but you cannot, well, clearly can't give him that much room. Oh, I've got a bit of momentum now, so we'll stick to attacking. A superb finish. That was horse crumping. Wow. So we have a new um, Wallace or a new uh, <laughs> player on our hands. Oh, and that's, a, that's spilled. Is it going to count? No, it won't count. It was a great strike from Latini. A good save from Sansa there, Osanka. And, oh, wow, what's going on? It's going oh, to go too quick for me. <laughs> off the bar, I think there was a foul anyway. Right, okay, we're going to make some changes. Uh, we're going to bring Schober off, as we're going to bring on Mateus, who, of course, was a goalkeeper I had at one time, obviously called Mateus. I think he was Brazilian. Actually, had really good potential here, and I don't know what happened. I think he just stayed in Brazil. And Latini's just giving the ball away. That was criminal, and I've given away a penalty. Absolutely ludicrous defending. I don't know what he was trying to do there. And now... Oh, he's missed! Can you believe it? He's hit the post. Well, well, well. We've got 20 minutes here, and we could win this, you know. Well, 15 minutes now. Let's see who else. He's not particularly had that great a game. Or at least I need to show. Um, Kaczynski, we'll try him. We'll bring Juice, uh, Juice Sophie off, or Juice, I don't know, you say that, whatever. <laughs> they aren't even real names, so I can't even, like, <laughs> go on commentators. You know, pronunciations. Um... Okay, well, God, who else have we got? I guess we'll bring on Schutz then for Latini, who hasn't been that great. I realise that... Actually, we'll bring on Schuster then for De February since he's uh, on a yellow card and he's on a rating of 6.6. .6. Okay, well... Okay, we're going into added time now. We're going to push higher up, and uh, I don't want to take more risks, but we're going to push higher up, see what happens. Not that many highlights. It is still on extended, I just want to point out. Not key. But let's see what happens. 
nothing, nothing at all, apparently. Not even going to... Wow. Okay, five minutes of added time on top of the three, but a decent point. Well, considering you know, they missed a penalty, considering, I think, how many shots do we have that game? God. We only had three shots. They dominated, really, but no way points, no way points. Missed the penalty there, Lance. I'll take that. I'll take it. I said I'd be happy with the points earlier on at half time, and we've got one, so Dortmund holds Stuttgart to draw. Poor discipline, well. <laughs> discipline and missing a penalty, but he hit the post. We could have lost that, we probably should have lost that, but they gave us a point, basically. Or Gorecki there on form. So, um, I'm going to get some transfers in in the limited time I've got available, I think. Actually, is the German transfer window different, isn't it? Or is that Spain? Or is the European? I don't know. Um, we'll find out. I'll, I'll, obviously, I'll, re I'll find out anyway. Um, thank you for watching, then. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, enjoy the Champions League final tonight. Uh, come on, Dortmund. <laughs> no, seriously, I want Dortmund. I really like them. You know, they, are, they appear to be the people's club at the moment. Everyone seems to be raving about them. And, uh, you know, well, why, why wouldn't they? I mean, what a quality team they've got. And hopefully I'll be able to emulate the great man Jürgen Klopp himself. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time then as we get a uh, season review, or at least a you know, sort of half season review, uh, in May for this new Dortmund team. So thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.